Went to the left. They went to the left. Impede them. Fucking serpentine. To the right. To the right. Yeah, Somebody hit me from the right. From the right. Let's they got one in the box. He came in the building. In the building. To your to your right, Cats. To your right. He ran. Broke his armor. He got no armor. He won. He won up here. I'm gonna leave him. This nigga's still over there, yeah. Yeah, and they caught a witch on us. Chris. Chris. Fuck you, bitch. I'm watching for the solo that was behind us. I... Oh, okay, yeah. We never get he tucked that ball away, lowered his head, and boom, end zone. I'm gonna see if I can EMP him. Do we kill a team or did they just kill? Yeah, I, I killed them. I killed some people. Somebody's on my right. Somebody's watching me from behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they right landed right. at the at the box here. Yeah. Okay, that's where his homies at. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. And just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, Someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. And a 42 yard line here and brought down there. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and three. Ready. 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 First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. He's got room at the 30, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. They'll go Madison up the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They juked him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now you get a look at their key inactives for this week's game, and, and Charles, clearly you don't want to have any of these guys unavailable, especially when you're where they're at fighting for a playoff spot. I agree, because the postseason is on the line. So you've got to overcome the injuries and find a way to win. And the only way to do that, the guys available have to step up. What's that mantra in the NFL? Next man up. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive consumes nine points on time, and it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. He'll drop to throw. His throw incomplete. The Jets at 500, sitting at 5-5. Five and five. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Back to throw again. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, but I'd have to say a very solid performance. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle to Beckham. Touchdown, Jets! Odell Beckham with career touchdown number 60. And the Jets respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. 
a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Steps away to his left. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Got his man. It's the tight end log. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. On the handoff, it's Madison, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, these two teams faced off earlier in the year, right around midseason, back in week nine, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Three, check right. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 22-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Now a give to Madison. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. On third down, they run with Edmonds, and he is going to lose yardage here. Fourth down now after a loss of two. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. Gano's kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they are able to win that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks are told us they a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. they got to figure out how to get coordinated. And yep. The 28-yard line, just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. He'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from home. Incomplete. That was third down. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They're going to try and throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They'll run left with Pollard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Let's go now. Come left, come left. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's caught by OBJ. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Going for a really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4. Those three guys up front, the nose tackle, the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. They'll drop to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. Fields it right around the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Right. Throwing again on second down. Tua. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. This time they stay on the ground. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. Back deep, Tariq Cohen. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. They'll throw now on the final play. Out to his left. He finds Wilson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets. This ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looking to throw. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard, and they'll get him down here at the 23. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Caught that one from you there, Parker. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this one is incomplete. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. And going deep for Hill. And this is caught inside the five. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Gano for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. The drive there only 
spanning three plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. On play action, they'll throw. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a give here to Pollard. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third day. Back to throw here. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Crossing the field, Beckham makes a catch. And he is going to have a Jets first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Uzama. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man and try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here we go on second and 12. Eluding the pressure right to the right side, and he's got more complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away, and he will find his man on the outside. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Now here's Pollard. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. They're knocking on the door as they come to the line here on third and goal from the one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Fighting his way in for a Jets touchdown. Tony Pollard. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this ball game here in the final moments of the third quarter. 
extra point up and through and that will level the playing field at 17 all that one was an extended drive 14 plays all told 17 17 the score all even to this point as the kicks away it is fielded right at the goal line and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and their lead has evaporated in this third quarter it's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten they take a shot downfield there but it winds up falling incomplete third quarter all tied up this is second and ten two are gonna throw quick slant Tyreek Hill with it and he almost gets this to the 30 taken down about a yard shy and as they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play. back now in Miami all even as we get ready to start the fourth Here's Madison running on first down, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another carry now for Madison. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Here's Madison. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 59 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Madison running left. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Tua sets up to pass it. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Through the 34 now. Here's first and 10. They'll go Madison up the middle. And a short gain down to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll work this down inside the 30. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. Throw left side complete. That's Myers. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. Now a stoppage here as it looks here we like we've got a go. Dolphin shaken up on the play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Looking middle and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Madison is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second and goal, Tua. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill. He 
has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. It's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. to throw that's caught by Wilson and out of bounds across the 15 yard line so the completion results there in nine yards and they're going to be staring at a third and long here back to throw and this is caught he hits more and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's more. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. He's back to throw. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. He'll wind up getting 9 after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with 2nd and a yard. They'll run with Pollard. 49 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score. As, and he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it, go for two. Well, going for it on the road, want to win it right now. Want to win it right now, have the momentum, go ahead and get it done. And they're 
out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. Delay of game. Often. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So now this to get them back to even heading into the break. And he has got it. So barring something crazy on the kickoff, we're looking at an extra period to decide this one. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And we have a free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty on, simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10, all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? On second down, it's Pollard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, isn't it? Just go right at him. And let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And a lot of times, these plays either go for nothing <laughs> they go for big yardage in here. They got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Now Pollard. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 70 yards rushing for him now as he was just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of the play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. Right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now this first drive in OT continues. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Dave's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, 
you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. And like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. Third and eight situation. A tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. Here's Pollard again. And he will maneuver his way down about the seven. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. And with just two seconds remaining, the timeout is called here in OT. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. And his kick is indeed good. And they have regained the lead. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat.